Hello, my dear viewer! From this video, you'll know how to sew a Vicky Sews Sharon dress. Mine is made of cotton. This dress has already become my absolute love. As I often do before sewing a new garment, I've made a mock-up and it saved my dress, because after the first fitting I decided to move its v-neck line up by 3 cm. I did it at the 4 part central line and then drew a new neck line as it is shown in the video. Don't forget to do the same with the facing, you'll also need to change the color pattern. I washed and ironed my fabric and then began cutting, as I wanted the fabric print to match on the front and skirt parts of the dress, I cut all the parts separately, cut out two front and one back bodice pieces. Cut out to front and one back skirt pieces. I also lengthened my skirt by 20 cm. Cut out two facing pieces. Don't forget to change its neckline and lengthen it if you've made these changes to the pattern. As we'll need to strengthen our facings with a fusible interfacing later, I decided to cut it out together with the main fabric to save some time. The interfacing shouldn't be too light or too heavyweight. Cut one neckline facing out from the main material and the fusible interfacing. Cut out two sleeves. And don't forget to transfer all the markings from the pattern. I fuse the interfacing to the facings. Then strengthen the bodice neckline with a fusible bias tape. I also fused an interfacing lengthwise thread tape to the bodice neckline and the dress's future button stand to the skirt's bottom. Ooh, 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 ooh
Let's move on to the darts. In this dress we have 8 darts, 4 at the back and 4 at the bodice four part. First I pin the sides together and then secure it carefully with hand stitches, exactly matching the marker lines I made at the cutting stage. I start machine stitching at the dart's wide end and gradually move to its top. A couple of centimeters off the dart's top, I reduce the stitch length to 2 mm, so that the dart's tip turns out perfect. I stop stitching at the dart's top, rotate the fabric and stitch a couple of centimeters back, thus fastening off a thread. I remove hand stitches and other extra threads. Press the darts flat and then iron the waistline and shoulder ones to the center of the dress, the bodice ones to the center of the bodice and the back ones to the center of the back and the bust ones upwards. I use special sewing pads for that. Pin the shoulder edges of the front and back bodice pieces together right sides inside and stitch with a 1 cm seam allowance. Hem the edges with an overlock. Press the seams flat and then turn the seam allowances to the front and press again. I also like to make the seams flat by cooling them using my homemade tailor's hands. Let's move on to the sleeves. Make several pleats using chalk marks and secure them with pins as it is shown in the video. Then secure the freshly made pleats with a sewing machine seam with a 7 mm seam allowance.
Pin a sleeve into an armhole using the marks we made at the cutting step. Each sleeve has markings on it, telling us which side of it should be connected to the front and to the back of the bodice. Stitch with a 1 cm seam allowance. Hem the edges with an overlock. Press the seams flat and then turn the seam allowances to the front. Repeat for the second sleeve. I use a 2 cm wide strip of cardboard to draw a line with an erasable marker at the sleeve's lower edge. Then hem this edge with an overlock. Press it flat and then tuck it to the wrong side towards the line we drew earlier and press again. Pin the edges of the sleeve's underarm seam and bodice's front and back side seam together right sides inside. Stitch with a 1 cm seam allowance. Hem the edges with an overlock. Hide excess threads. Press the freshly made seams flat and then turn the seam allowances to the front. I also press the sleeve's bottom edge hem at the side seam again. Make a line of machine stitches 1 cm off the sleeve's bottom edge, thus securing its seam allowance inside the sleeve. Hide excess threads. Press the seam with an iron. I slightly changed the sleeve construction by using an elastic thread instead of elastic band suggested in the pattern. I used it as a bobbin thread at the sewing machine's shuttle, like a usual thread but an elastic one. If you also prefer to do it my way, use an elastic thread only at the shuttle bobbin, don't thread it through the needle. Make a line of stitches 2 cm off the sleeve's bottom edge. My stitch length was 3 mm. Don't forget about bar tags at the beginning and at the end of the seam. Tie the elastic's ends in a knot and remove the excess threads. Repeat for the second sleeve. Let's move on to our skirt. Make the pleats at its back 
and two front parts using marks. Pin them and secure with machine stitches with a 7mm seam allowance, just like we did at the sleeves. Pin the skirt pieces together right sides inside at their side seams. Hem the edges with an overlock. Press the seams flat and then turn the seam allowances to the front. Pin three facing parts together right sides inside, like it is shown in the video. Stitch with a 1 cm seam allowance. Press the seams flat, open the seam allowances and press again. Have the outer edge that won't be connected to the dress's button stand with an overlock and press it once again. Put the face in aside for now. Since the video turned out to be long, I decided to divide it into two parts. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed sewing with me and see you in my next video. Bye!